Hivers, welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the USA. Come on into the hive and see what all the buzz is about. Today, we are going to be making this card for our um, monthly Stampers by the Dozen blog hop. This month, our theme is love, wedding, anniversary, anything to do with that. So I decided to make um, this card using the new Daisy Lane stamp set, which comes in a bundle with the medium Daisy punch. You can buy them separately or together and save 10% when you purchase them together. So we're gonna be using most of the images in here. So we're gonna be using this, 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 this sentiment, and those two. So there's only three things that we're not using in here. But what I've decided to do, because this card is cute, I do love it. It just was missing a little mm, something to me. Something was just a little off. So I decided to change it up just a bit. It's still the same, but different. Just a little stepped up. So um, what we're gonna start off with is stamping all of our images that we need to punch out and die cut. So I have some Scrap Whisper White here. I'm going to be using some Highland Heather for my daisies. And I need one of these. Let's see. I'll put that right there. And I need another daisy, but the smaller one, the medium size one. And I'll put that about right here. Then we're going to need our sentiment, but the sentiment is going to be in gorgeous grape. So I'll get the gorgeous grape and we'll do our sentiment right about here. Okay. And while we have the gorgeous grape out, I'm going to go ahead and get our gorgeous grape cardstock. This is cut at Mm, two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And I'm gonna take, let me see, I need this flower image here. I need a block. Let me clean off this sentiment so I can take it off the block since we're done with it. Okay, and we're just gonna stamp this all around our gorgeous grape cardstock. Mm. Now this is gonna be covered up a bit, so I think I wanna get try to get one right here. There we go. That should be good. And that is it for the gorgeous grape. Okay, good. So we can put that away. And let's go ahead and punch out our images that we just stamped. So I'm gonna take the medium punch. And these you wanna stamp your daisies going up and down like um, each the, at least have one of the petals straight up and down like at 12 and six o'clock because that's the way the punches line up. So we're gonna be using the medium daisy punch for the smaller and then our regular daisy punch for the bigger daisy. Just line that up and give it a punch. Okay, and then we're gonna use the are my where are my dies we're gonna be using the stitch shape the smallest circle and it just barely fits around our um, sentiment there so we're gonna take that and to the big shot and you would just make your sandwich and run that through so we have our two daisies here. Let me get these out of the way. Let me clean this stamp before I get ink everywhere. I see, I almost put my arm in it. 
Okay, what we're gonna do next, I'm sorry. We're gonna use the third largest stitched rectangle. Are these called stitched rectangle? Rectangle stitched framelits. And we're gonna um, use that to cut out a piece of Whisper White, which I've already gone ahead and done. And that's gonna be for our focal point. And we're gonna take our Granny Apple Green and we're gonna take the stem for the daisies, ink that up, and we're gonna put one right in the middle. And we're not gonna be using the entire, hmm, almost all of it, I guess. But we wanna try to get it centered because we need to put two more, a little lower on here. This one can be just a bit higher. Okay. And then we can close this ink up. And I think that is all of our stamping, if I'm not mistaken. No, we have one more thing to stamp. One more. Let me see. Where's my stamping? My Simply Chamois. We need to clean off, make sure all of these images are cleaned off. Because we don't want to get any ink anywhere that we don't want it. Okay, so what we need now is some Versamark. And we're gonna put this to the side, these two images here. And I went ahead and previously and ran our sentiment through the Big Shot. And we have a piece of pool party cardstock that is cut at five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna take the little leaf image. And we're gonna stamp that in Versamark all over the background just to give it some interest on the card. Just, I just don't want plain Jane in the background. I guess I need to turn it a little bit. You don't want all of your things going the exact same way. We're just going to stamp all over it. Most of it's going to be covered, but we just want to add a little interest to the card background. Okay, so now that's all the stamping done. And what I started off with to make, um, when I originally seen this card and thought it needed a little bit, I thought maybe I just need to emboss the background. So I took a piece of the um, Highland Heather cardstock and it's cut at um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I ran it through the Big Shot with the Settles embossing folder. And I was gonna do it exactly the same and then just change that. But then I thought, no, it still just needed something. So that's why this is embossed. So you're not gonna be able to see much of it because this is gonna cover it up, but it still looks nice. It adds even more interest to the card. So I'm liking that. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and start putting this together. I have my liquid adhesive here. And we're gonna just add some to the back of this. And get this card started. Then we're going to add our um, gorgeous grape layer to the bottom. <laughs> Just leave a little border around. And then we'll add our Whisper White. That'll just get added right here in the center. Just like that. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is layer up our daisies. So I already have um, punched out the layers for the daisy 
in Highland Heather with using the um, Daisy Punches. And so we're gonna just take some more liquid glue and layer these up. And on, you wanna kinda offset them, but not totally like this because there's three layers. So just a little bit less than like center, just a little less. If I can get it this all the way around, some of them are centered very well. Then we'll just put the stamped image right on top. And that one should fill in any empty areas. Okay, and we'll do the same with the smaller one. Again, you want to offset them so you can see all of the petals and fill it in with the stamped image. I'm going to set these aside to let it dry a little. And I've already finished one of them. And what I need to do is get my bone folder and curl those. Okay, so, oh, actually, I'm going to get some dimensionals and pop this, the image, I mean the sentiment, right in the middle on this one. I'm just gonna pop this um, sentiment right here. And now I will take my bone folder and curl these. And I wanna just hold on to the middle where I put that dimensional and curl the, the petals. Okay, then I'm going to add another dimensional to the back of that one. We're going to pop that one right here. Right at the top. And then we'll take a mini dimensional. Where are my dimensionals? Take a mini one and add this one. Then we'll, this will be dry enough. We'll curl these. And add a dimensional to this. And we'll pop that one right about there. Let's see if we can get this one to go over just a bit. Okay, and what I've decided to do, instead of using the embellishments that I used here, and I don't remember, I think these are the Gingham Gala sequence, um, we're going to use the glitter enamel dots. Let me get my, pick your, take your pick tool, and I want to add a couple of these for the centers of these flowers here. Oh, that's not centered. Hmm. I think that looks good. And there you have it. The best moments in my life happen with you. I think this would be a great anniversary card. What do you think? I love it. Okay, don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later.